Hi guys, so this video is for people who use Lightstream Studio, um, probably from their PlayStation or their Xbox, to enable them to stream to Twitch and add, you know, those uh, professional looking or custom overlays without having to have a uh, computer in the, in the middle. So you may well have a custom um, project that you, you've got and you think, okay, so, so things like pictures and borders, th these are all fairly easy things to do. Um, even adding music isn't too much of a challenge, but what is complicated is adding custom notifications. So this is, you know, when you're streaming away, somebody follows, someone subscribes, someone raids, that sort of thing, um, and you want that, you want it to come up on the on the on the video. Then you go, so and so has followed, blah, 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 someone has subbed for the fourth month in a row, that sort of stuff. How do you do that? Eat really easily. <laughs> Okay, and the answer is integrating into your Lightstream project um, uh, stream elements. So stream elements is free, and you can link it to your um, uh, your Twitch. So everything kind of links together, and it, this works really, really well. Now, the thing I would say <laughs> is that within stream elements, you can look at their themes, um, and they have whole theme packs which you can import into Lightstream, you know? So instead of having to do a DIY um, set of templates, you know, you, you can use one of theirs. Um, however, you may well like me, you, you might wonder, well, I want to come up with my own overlays. I want to, you know, I want it to have that homemade feel. You know, I'm not a super duper streamer. You know, I, I want it to have my touch. So like with my Daisy stream, you know, it's got this classic TV. It's all a, it's all a little bit ad hoc, isn't it? But I want to have live um, notifications. So what you do, the easiest way I find to do it, is if you just scroll through this, these um, themes and just preview a theme. And what you're looking for is the, uh, it's normally the live one, and you're looking for how it does it do a notification, like there. So that's a notification there. And if you like the way the night notification works, what we can do is we can just import this notification by itself into our own uh, Lightstream overlay. Now, you, this, this whole service, uh, Streamlabs, does allow you to make your own custom ones as well with your own custom videos and all this sort of stuff. But we can go down and we can go, okay, what do we, let's have a look. Some of them are game specific, you see. So um, they'll have, so stream elements, so some of them, so that's a raid one. So maybe, maybe not something like the Doom Great Area Super theme. Let's have a look, see what this one looks like. Stream elements, so that's nice basic. I like that, isn't it? That's really basic, that. Stream elements just followed, so that's cool. So, we, so actually, we like that one. Um, so let's, let's create my overlay. So you create the overlay, give it a name, and we'll go um, basic note notification overlay let's create that and then see it in your the theme in your overlays so it flicks you over here and you're looking for it will be the live one so there we go so so basic notification over a great area in game overlay so we, if we go in and we edit this it will load up the editor and at this point you can emulate what it actually does as well. So what you can actually do is you can say emulate a follower event. And that's what's gonna happen. So we think, oh yeah, that, that, I like that, it's nice. In, um, so let's emulate a host event. Nice, simple, looks cool, it's animated, looks good, doesn't it? So all we need to do now is just delete <laughs> or hide all of the other bits so you do is you just so the alert box is the one we want i don't think you can do it so you just go down like this and you're turning off all of the boxes like this dunk yeah excuse me slide it down there may well be a quicker way to do this i don't know but it's the way that i do it
So basically now on the screen, all that should happen is that. So once we're happy, we just save that there like that. So save that. And then what we do is we get the overlay URL. So you copy that. And then we go back to Lightstream and we want to add the overlay. Now this is where things get a little bit complicated. Okay, so bear with me. So we want to add a layer and it's a third party integration. What you see down here, Let me scroll down and it's a stream elements integration. So we click that now. Don't put the URL in yet because what we want to do is we want to match the size of the uh, the notification to our side. Now, my Daisy Classic TV Vanilla is a 1080p um, uh, template, so I need to match it. So what we want to do is we want to go down here and we want to make, so 1080p is 1920 by 1080. Okay. And then we want to make sure the scale is the same. So it's 1920. Oh, and often it will do that. I think it's probably done it automatically now. So then you just match it up. Ooh. Make sure it matches. Like that. So just click on scale. 1920 by 1080. Yeah, so it's done that already. And then what you do is that, um, in this case, the stream element stays on top of the television. So if I quickly go back here and do, em you'll see it working live. If I do en emulate um, subscriber gift and we quickly screen back, that should, oh, excuse me. What did I forget to do? <laughs> I forgot to add the URL, didn't I? So paste the URL in. Right, so that's pasted in now. So now if we simulate a subscriber event, dunk. There it appears. Um, what else could we do? Um, cheer event, tip event, 50 bucks. And that's gonna appear there. How easy and how cool is that? Now just remember though, that we've only added that stream element um, notification to our live screen. You know, it's not on our intro, it's not on our back in a bit, it's not in the map, you know, it's not in our, thanks for watching, uh, screen it's only in that one so. okay so you know what what we've done there is we've um we've just got it on our live screen so let's add it to a, another uh, screen so let's add it say to the back in a bit one so while you're away people can still see it so we go down add our third party integration go down to stream elements so we've got resize area and scale so we want our area to be 1920 by 1080 and we want our scale to be 1920 Ooh, oh. by 1080 so that all fits and at this point we can then paste in the URL and again, this must be on top of the picture. Then if we go back to um, stream elements, we can simulate a tip event. And there it is, there's the tip appearing. That's as easy as it is, and you can you know add that to all the other um, all all the other slides, um, and you've got your own particular custom overlays, you know, that have got your touch to it but you've got that added little bit of professionalism of better looking notifications so people get that you know that nice nice effect if someone you know decides to follow you decides to subscribe and they see their name on your screen anyway that's enough for me hopefully you found that useful i'll put links in the description below the video and of course i'll uh, see you again soon